Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Longevity. As we age, we often encounter a common challenge. Difficulty in effectively regulating sugar and cholesterol within our bodies. This challenge is called age-related metabolic dysfunction, appearing as issues in managing glucose, which is sugar, or lipids, fats. It is like a system glitch that interferes with the body's ability to control sugar and fat levels properly. Today, I would like to share a new study on astaxanthin, which shows its effectiveness in fighting the system glitch and can help you live a longer and healthier life. If you want to maintain healthy levels of blood sugar, cholesterol, HDL, LDL, VLDL, triglycerides, and apple B, then watch the rest of this video. I will show you how astaxanthin can greatly benefit metabolic dysfunction, how it influences the body to handle sugar and fat by working at the molecular level, how it makes the body more responsive to insulin and improves sugar uptake, and how it improves how the body uses fat. I will also discuss why astaxanthin is the best and most perfect antioxidant. To conclude, I will show you the brand I take and why I take this brand, so let's get right into the video. A quick overview of astaxanthin and why it's the best antioxidant. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid pigment responsible for the vibrant red and pink colors in marine organisms such as shrimp, salmon, and some microalgae. It's also what gives flamingos their distinctive pink color. Now what makes astaxanthin particularly intriguing is its incredible potency as an antioxidant. I mentioned this before on one of my other videos. Studies have shown that astaxanthin is a powerhouse antioxidant, surpassing the potency of several well-known antioxidants. Put it to you this way, it's 6,000 times more potent than vitamin C, 770 times more active than COQ10, 100 times more powerful than vitamin E, and five times stronger than beta carotene. Now here's where it gets even more interesting. Many people, many individuals might hesitate to embrace such a powerful antioxidant due to concerns about disrupting the balance between oxidants and antioxidants in the body. Okay. Studies showed that high doses of antioxidant supplements could potentially disturb this balance, which can affect normal cellular functions and raise concerns about increased risks of specific health issues, including cancer and accelerated aging. But what sets a staxanthin apart is that it is considered a pure antioxidant. Unlike other antioxidants that may transform into harmful oxidants, known as prooxidants, astaxanthin never turns into a prooxidant. That's incredible. So it never causes harm to the body. This distinctive characteristic positions it as an ideal supplement for promoting serious health benefits. There are three types of carotenoids. Type A lacks significant antioxidant properties. Type B has good antioxidants, but also pro-antioxidant properties. And then you have type C, which exhibits potent antioxidants without any pro-oxidant traits. Astaxanthin falls in type C. In simple terms, it works as a powerful antioxidant without disturbing the delicate balance between oxidants and antioxidants. While other potent antioxidants like beta carotene primarily exert their effect inside the cell, inside, ascorbic acid works outside the cell, and tocopherols like, such as vitamin E are relatively effective at the cell's surface. Astaxanthin does its protective work both inside and on the surface of the cell, keeping them entirely safe from harm. This makes it the perfect antioxidant for those seeking balance and cellular protection. Now let's discuss how astaxanthin controls blood sugar. We know that the body needs to be good at using insulin and controlling sugar, glucose, to stay healthy. When the body doesn't respond well to insulin, which is called insulin resistance, it can lead to health issues like type 2 diabetes. Studies have examined whether astaxanthin can help manage sugar levels in the body. In one study, participants with type 2 diabetes were given 8 milligrams a day of astaxanthin for 8 weeks. The results were it lowered their glucose level and reduced fructosamine and plasma glucose concentrations. 
Fructosamine reflects average blood glucose over time, so it, its decrease shows better control. The lower plasma glucose levels suggest improved overall glucose metabolism in type 2 diabetes patients. In another study, 53 healthy or pre-diabetic people were given 12 mg of astaxanthin daily for 12 weeks. Their glucose levels and HbA1c, a marker showing long-term blood glucose control, decreased. At the same time, the Matsuda index, which indicates whole body insulin sensitivity, also improved. In yet another controlled trial with overweight and obese participants, taking 5 mg and 20 mg of astaxanthin daily for 3 weeks significantly improved oxidative stress markers associated with reduced insulin sensitivity. Now, putting its mechanism in simple terms, astaxanthin works by increasing insulin sensitivity, which is good, by creating an antioxidant response in the cell's nucleus through the NRF2 pathway, and then stimulating the movement of a protein called GLUT4, G-L-U-T4, to the cell surface. This protein acts like a gateway, allowing glucose to enter the cell more efficiently. Now let's get into how astaxanthin can control cholesterol and other lipids. The body's ability to control different parts of cholesterol and lipoproteins such as LDL, Apple B, VLDL, triglycerides, HDL, and adiponectin is crucial for maintaining cardiovascular health. The incredible thing is that astaxanthin can positively affect all of them, as studies clearly prove. For example, in a randomized control trial, they spent 12 weeks, 27 overweight adults were given a daily dosage of 20 milligrams of astaxanthin. The outcomes included reduced LDLC and ApoB. In a 2023-24 week randomized control trial involving 34 adults with this lipidemia and prediabetes, participants were given a daily dose of 12 milligrams of astaxanthin. The findings showed lower LDLC and total cholesterol levels, and a decrease in other cardiovascular disease risk markers. In another eight-week randomized placebo-controlled trial with 44 participants diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and not using insulin therapy, a daily dose of 8 mg of astaxanthin was given to them. The treatment resulted in higher adiponectin levels, a significant reduction in visceral fat, that's the fat around your organs, and lower triglycerides and VLDLC levels. In another randomized trial that lasted over 12 weeks, 61 non obese participants with somewhat high triglycerides levels, 120 to 200 milligrams per deciliter, without diabetes or hypertension, were given 6, 12, and 18 milligrams per day of astaxanthin. The results showed increased HDLC adiponectin levels in the 6 to 12 milligrams and 12 to 18 milligrams, respectively and decreased triglycerides levels in the 12 and 18 milligram group. Astaxanthin's mechanism of action in a simplified version is like this. First, it encourages the liver to grab more cholesterol from the blood, increasing LDL receptor expression in the liver. Think of it like a cleaner picking up the trash. Second, it uses a pathway called NRF2 to control molecular proteins in our cells that make cholesterol, such as SREBP1C. It's like giving instructions to the cholesterol making factory. Lastly, astaxanthin suppresses specific cholesterol making enzymes that are like the workers in the factory, such as HMG COA reductase and acetyl COA carboxylase, which are involved in making cholesterol. Suppressing them reduces the amount of cholesterol and fats produced keeping our blood vessels cleaner and healthier. Now, let me speak to you about the brand I use. I take this brand. I am not sponsoring it. I am just showing you what I take. I was taking 12 milligrams per day, but in the last month, I upped it to 24 milligrams per day. I specifically take this brand because it is one of the best being sold out there. What it says on the label is what is found in the supplement. No games. In fact, Consumer Labs, which specializes in testing supplements in their own laboratory to determine the integrity of the claim content, evaluated many astaxanthin supplements sold on the market. And guess what? Their number one choice, 
high dose top pick was BioAston Hawaiian Astaxanthin 12 milligrams. This brand I hold right here in my hand. And it is one of the cheapest for its potency. Let's speak about side effects and dosage. Astaxanthin is generally safe if taken with food. However, as with everything in life, and I mean everything, some people can get allergic reactions to it, especially at high doses, such as itching, difficulty breathing, and rashes. The optimal dosage for astaxanthin varies, but based on available research, a recommended range of 4 to 12 milligrams per day is recommended. Different countries have suggested dosages within the range of 2 to 24 milligrams. It's important to consult a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate dosage based on your individual health condition. In closing, Astaxanthin stands out as a, one of the most remarkable supplements available. What I shared in this video only scratches the surface of its potential, and I mean this. What fascinates me the most is its unique ability to protect the human cells both inside and the outside, a feat unmatched by other antioxidants. As an incredible potent antioxidant, Astaxan still does not disturb the delicate oxidant to antioxidant balance, a characteristic not commonly found in other antioxidants. Let me leave you with this insight. While supplements like Astaxanthin are undeniably beneficial, their effectiveness is maximized when complemented by a wholesome and healthy lifestyle. This is a must. It's no magic solution, but it can significantly enhance your overall health and longevity when coupled with responsible self-care. I will end the video here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to put the link in the description if you wish to purchase this. Okay, I'm, I'm transparent. If you purchase it with my link, I get a couple, I get a little percentage. So it's up to you. You don't have to. You could buy it on your own or you can help me out here. Anyway, have a great day and see you in my next video.